So in each short moment we take, we open to the profound meaning of reality. In each short moment, the profound meaning of reality is undeniable. We can't turn it on or turn it off. It doesn't depend on what's going through our mind. It's really powerful to come to these open meetings and any of the trainings within Balance View because we're in this environment where we can really experience the profound meaning of reality, always on benefit. Most of our day-to-day -day training is based on data reification, on description management. We're full-time project engineers with data management, trying to find the profound meaning of our lives through data naming positive, negative, and neutral. But when we come to the balance view setting, we find something radically different. We hear short moments of open intelligence repeated many times. Open intelligence goes continuous. We, it becomes more and more obvious to the point where it outshines the data descriptions, the data naming. So open intelligence, when we stop thinking for a moment, open intelligence is what is present. Our intelligence. It just hasn't been named and identified and acknowledged. So in short moments we acknowledge this intelligence that's open. It's not a closed system. Open and indescribable vast like the space. And you see every time you just stop thinking for a moment, you see that it's on. It's what's looking. And when all the thoughts come back in, open intelligence hasn't gone anywhere. Open intelligence and data are inseparable. Like the color blue in the sky are inseparable. You cannot have one without the other. So a lifetime of reification is giving independence to all the data. I mean, if you, like right now in this moment, how can any thought have any other substance other than open intelligence? If it's the most positive experience you could ever have, how is it any different than the vast space of open intelligence? And the same with the neutral and the negative. It's so simple and yet so profound at the same time. We've been trained and we've been training up to complicate everything, trying to make sense out of our thoughts and our emotions and what does this experience mean, what does that mean, what does it mean when I'm bored, what does it mean when I don't like the training setting, what does it mean when the data are intense, short moments of not describing. Short moments of acknowledging open intelligence. It's like the reset button. You see how easy it is in this moment. And then when you start trying to figure everything out, it seems complicated. So the four mainstays, the training, the trainer, the community, and the short moments support us in acknowledging open intelligence. In my experience, it just allowed me to stop re-emphasizing the story I had about myself and whatever that story is for each of us. I'm sure most of us don't necessarily like the flow of our data streams. There's always something in our data that we could try to delete. Like when you wake up on Monday morning, there's probably a, it's like a line of code just going and you you're like, oh, I need to delete that one, delete, delete, delete. But then you're looking in the code for, where's the positive code? I don't seem to find it unless this happens or this happens or this happens. So it's just very frustrating and it's just more and more rearrangement of the data. So remember short moments and allow it to be as it is.
Okay, done. <laughs> and then you start to see a profound shift happen. It's like you think, okay, I've got it, done. But then what? Then you actually start to see the ways that we've been avoiding everything in our lives, or replacing, or indulging. And we start to recognize that our natural movement is to be of benefit. It's no longer to be not beneficial. Like we really clearly see when we're acting and behaving in ways that we see are clearly not beneficial for ourselves and others. That's one of the first things that I recognize so obviously, uh, especially with criticizing myself. I just saw how there was a relentless code of criticism. So in short moments, many times, I was able to allow that to be as it is and to really just stop criticizing myself. I could see that that was indulgence and avoiding letting it be as it is and then trying to replace it with something more compassionate. But by letting it be as it is, we see that this, there is natural compassion, a natural empathy for one another. It doesn't have to be contrived. It doesn't have to be cultivated. Open intelligence is by nature altruistic. It isn't something we need to spend a lifetime trying to cultivate. That is just, that's painful. And that's a, a harsh way to see us as humans, that we're somehow naturally flawed and need to cultivate all of these good activities. That some people might have it and we're the lowly ones that need to look up to somebody else and, and achieve that sort of status. So we can give up that game. It's not needed. I mean, it's a waste of energy to cultivate positive data or compassionate data. It's just a lifetime of neutralization. Like even in the most negative data that we have within that, we let it be as it is. It, it's just another data stream flowing on by. To take it as having independence is a real travesty. It just places everyone in this state of constant fear, thinking that thinking that it's just wrong and bad and horrible and not seeing that we're actually exalted by nature. So in the global balance you communities, it's people who are really just are being themselves and expressing their beneficial potencies and getting to know that about themselves whilst allowing all of our data to be as it is. Data is not always pleasant, but that's when we start describing it. It doesn't mean that we come to the balance of settings and everything is peachy and fluffy and funny and warm. And It can be wrathful, it can be peaceful, it can be everything in between. It's still the open intelligence shining forth all of its data, like sparkles in the sky, no sparkle having a different sparkle than the other one. So with intensity, by letting it be as it is, less and less is it distracting. We can harness that intensity to be of great benefit. You know, just look in your experience and check it out like all the things that actually have been resolved for you that are no longer an issue. And you see that, wow, I just have all this energy. What, what can I do with it? Do I want to spend my lifetime trying to figure it out? Is it because I've done this or is it because of that or is it because I need to do this? We just pour it into being of great benefit. And you start to clarify how we want to use our, our time, our gifts, our strengths and talents. And the Four Mainstays will support you completely in that. Support you completely. Never letting you down. But we have to rely on the support for it to empower us. We can't just kind of rely on the Four Mainstays and hope that it empowers us. <laughs> so the Balance You Media, that's a, a precious, a precious offering, a profound and empowering offering to take with us wherever we go. 
So I know we're getting towards the end of the season. We've been here since, some of us since November, and we've been immersed in the community setting. And some of us will be going to communities where it may be less numbers, and we want to feel that same empowerment where we go. So bringing the training media with us, the books, the, the online media, and um, just to know that there are online trainings as well. We use video conferencing so that we can still gather together and keep up this, this powerful momentum. Like when we come here and we train up every day in an easeful and powerful way, we want to be able to bring that with us wherever we go. So, you know, I just, I really appreciate listening to the talks from Candace and the other trainers. You know, immersing myself in this enriching environment. Like I was sharing before, there's so much media out there that is so disempowering, so dis degrading, and it does not uphold this standard of dignity, respect, empowerment, generosity. You know, it's just very, it's always, there's always a slight tone of misery and whatever it is. You might, it's everything in between. So to have media that really enriches you, like when you do find it very intense to let something be as it is and you're still finding yourself describing. You know, you've heard, oh, he said don't describe, yet I'm describing, doesn't mean I'm doing it wrong. You know, just plug in one of the talks and there's the reset button. Or if that doesn't do it, then read the books. Some people really just enjoy immersing themselves in the text. Try copying out the text. It's a, you know, just take one page from one of the books and copy it out and see how open intelligence is naturally elicited in your direct experience. It's, this practice is all about the effortlessness of open intelligence that's available because it is who you are. So all these tools to acknowledge open intelligence such a gift to have this in this day and age. You know, most of profound teachings have been kept either secret or hidden, or they just weren't available for those who wanted them. So Balance You is it's just so available for people who really want it and need it. For anybody, people that have extreme data and people that have a more restful mind that just want to be more empowered in their areas of interest. You know, whether we're an artist or a musician or an engineer, just seeing how we can really excel in our areas of interest to be of greater benefit, to break through the glass ceiling of reification. Um, weekly trainings, is, it's so supportive. You know, having the trainer and the community available to bring up questions is because questions will continue to arise. The more we gain confidence in open intelligence, naturally questions come up. And it's perfect. You know, that's how we empower each other as a group. Getting to normalize all topics where nothing is taboo anymore, where we don't have to keep anything hidden away as our secret thing. We can empower everything. Again, I'm just reflecting on how much easier my life is than it ever was before. Through complete relaxation. Like I was the kind of person who was never relaxed never relaxed. And people would always tell me, you need to relax. <laughs> and that would make me so angry that I couldn't relax. <laughs> like you, you know, you're trying your best, you're like, you're just trying to do so well and everybody's, it, it feels like a criticism really, so then you just get defensive. And, but allowing that to be as it is, then um, there's complete relaxation, even amidst feeling frustrated and bored and desirous. And what a gift to know that we can be in any situation and there's freedom in the immediacy of that perception. Like it doesn't depend on having nice thoughts or pleasant experiences. There's more and more a groundedness, a stability. Open intelligence is the stable platform. The nature of reality is all-encompassing benefit. Not these other ideas of dualistic thinking, and thinking that there's a positive realm and then a negative realm, and positive energies and negative energies. And 
if this group of people does this better, then the world will be a better place. And we re it really needs to start with all of us, allowing our societal data streams to be just as they are. I mean, when I look out at all of you people from all over the world, different nationalities, different ages, different interest groups, before I would never have been able to be in such a diverse group. I would only be spending time with a small group of people who had the same data sets that I did. And, uh, well, that would, yeah, isolation, you know, and separate, separating ourselves out. And <laughs> it's just not how we were intended to live. It doesn't feel natural to be like that. So we have uh, some concerts coming up that <laughs> will uh, demonstrate the training in action and you'll hear empowering lyrics. You know how amazing to hear only empowering lyrics rather than, oh my girlfriend and boyfriend left me or, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know what I mean though, it's just, <laughs> just that public display of just criticism and it, it doesn't happen here. It's like, how can we use everything about ourselves, our speech, our body, our qualities and activities to be of great benefit? I mean, why use it in any other way? There's no need to. So, yeah, please check out the concerts, the Massive Vibe Live, and I'm sure there will be posters everywhere and flyers and it'd be great to come out and support it and to enjoy it. I mean, the music is amazing and the lyrics are they're just mind-blowing. And you know how lyrics get stuck in your head? These are the good lyrics to get stuck in your head. And, you know, rather than some woeful tune, it's like, wow, complete empowerment. It might be a bit annoying because it's on loop, but I actually I'm starting to recognize that my mind is wide open and like sky and pristine by nature. 